Hello everyone. My name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. I know a lot of you are super excited about this video because every day I get this question either on YouTube comment section or people message me on Slack asking Abhishek what are the top skills that I need to focus or what are the high paying skills that I need to focus in 2025. This video will address all of your questions and it's going to be super informative. Make sure you watch it till the end. Let's get started. So here are the top five skills that you need to focus as DevOps and Cloud Engineer according to me. First one is Cloud Platform. Reason is very simple. As DevOps Engineer, whether you join a startup or you join MNC, it's most likely they are already on a cloud platform because these days people are not interested in maintaining their on-premises environments. So already they are on a cloud platform. So it is one of the most important skills that you need to have. The options are very obvious, AWS, Azure or GCP. Now the big question is, Abhishek, we all know about AWS, Azure or GCP, but the big question is, what services do I need to focus on these cloud platforms? Because all of these cloud platforms have hundreds of services. Should I learn everything? No. Just focus on these eight concepts that I'm going to talk about and you will master the cloud part of DevOps. The first concept, is authentication and authorization. Now different cloud platforms have different services for these concepts, but I am going to tell you the concept names. First one is authentication and authorization. Second one is networking. For example, AWS has VPC. So focus on networking and its components. Third one is compute. For example, AWS has EC2. Fourth one is storage. Fifth concept is CICD. Sixth concept that you need to focus is serverless. Seventh concept that you need to focus is security and compliance. Finally, focus on cost optimization. If you learn these eight concepts, you will master cloud part in the DevOps field, right? So whether you're picking AWS or Azure or GCP, focus on these eight concepts and you will be good enough for the interviews part. Don't worry, I'll put the concepts names in the description as well. Second skill. Now this skill is very important, not only for DevOps and cloud engineers, but you might be doing testing or you might be a developer, you might be AI, ML engineer, anything and everything that you're doing in IT, you need to learn Kubernetes. So the second skill that I want to share with you is Kubernetes. When I say Kubernetes, I'm talking about containers and container orchestration. It's very important skill uh, because one is there is no serious competition in the space of container orchestration for Kubernetes. Of course, there are options, but Kubernetes is quite widely used, whether people use it as vanilla Kubernetes or people use it as OpenShift or people use it as EKS, AKS, Rancher. But end of the day, the underlying concept is Kubernetes. And it's not only used in traditional software development lifecycle, but it is also very widely used in the field of AI and ML. So the second skill that you need to focus is Kubernetes. Third one, not that I'm wearing the t-shirt of Terraform, but the third skill is Terraform. In general, I mean infrastructure as cloud, but this field has a lot of options for you. For example, you have Terraform, you have specific cloud vendor infrastructure as code tools like AWS has 
cloud formation templates there are cdks available there are apis available but end of the day terraform has the large market share in this field and i don't see cross plane taking over terraform at least in 2025 so my obvious choice in the space of infrastructure as cloud in 2025 is still terraform and i recommend learning terraform in 2025 fourth the fourth one that i have is again you know very important which is knowledge of ai now i don't mean to say you need to learn about transformers or you don't need you need to learn about some ai algorithms what i mean by ai is learn how to use ai to improve your efficiency for example having knowledge of prompt engineering or having an understanding of ai ops basically to solve your day to day it operations so the fourth skill which is very important again is using ai on your day to day life to improve the efficiency i'm sure interviewers are going to ask this in 2025 maybe later part of 2025 or people might already have started asking this question how do you use ai in your day to day life and you should be in a position to explain with some examples use cases whether it is using ai assistants using copilots using api calls with llms anything that you are doing to improve your efficiency is required in 2025 finally my fifth and another important skill for today that you need to focus is ci cd now this has been a classic use case for devops engineers over the years of time ci cd is one of the important skills of devops engineer and it will continue in 2025 as well because every company needs that zero touch automation or every company needs that zero touch build and release process so you need to focus on ci cd this space is very cluttered super cluttered if you ask me two tools that you need to focus on ci part i will recommend jenkins and github actions or go with github actions and gitlab pipelines in the cd space i would only recommend argo cd because flux cd uh, you know lot of things going on with vworks everybody knows about it so the popular option that you have today is argo cd in ci go with any of two between jenkins github actions and gitlab pipelines so these are the five skills according to me that you should focus in 2025 of course i'm not saying you should ignore the rest of the things you still need to follow a proper road map for example my devops road map i already shared i'll also put the link in the description you still need to take that road map but a lot of people are interested in the top 5 skills or you know people are interested in high paying skills that that they need to focus so i made this video i hope you found it informative any questions that you have about this topic do let me know in the comment section see you all in the next one and if you have any idea that abhishek you know we are also looking for such video you can also share that in comment section see you all take care bye bye